with the with the, even with the photos with his mouth closed, it's still open. He's still right. going like this, right? Right. Doing like a smile. Yeah. Whereas he's saying going like oh and doing the big <laughs> silly mouth. <laughs> that doesn't work. And wow. Hello and welcome to the Abroad in Japan podcast. Probably the best way of learning about life in Japan without actually being in Japan. I'm your host, Chris Broad, and we're joined, as always, by England's top Japan enthusiast, Mr. Pete Donaldson himself. Pete, how the devil are you doing? Hello, mate. We're at the end of a few uh, episodes uh, recorded. We had so many emails coming in. We had so many news stories you had to get through before you um, clear off to Japan. You're off back home. Absolutely. And that's quite exciting, isn't it? I have to go now. My planet needs me. <laughs> yeah, I've got a 14-hour flight coming up in about 12 hours' time. Yeah, but you're at least flying on an airline that might have some good films. I'll tell you what, a and are good, and they are a great airline, but my God... They've got some weird stuff on the what, tellies. What the hell are you watching? Not NHK's Cool Japan, I hope. Well, it's just, yeah, with, it is just stuff like Premier that. Two. It's just like NHK. They do have live television, so I did get to watch a Chelsea Luton match, I think, um, which was interesting. Wow. Um, and I do enjoy the fact that the NF flights uh, have um, cameras at the front and the bottom. Really? So as you're flying over wherever, uh, the, the, the way we went east was down through... I guess the Philippines, that be a thing. Um, underneath uh, Russia, and then the way back, we flew over America uh, via yes. via the, the the cold place, um, the the old pole. But um, you can see like out the front and then down as well, so you can see when Ooh. you're flying over stuff, and it's like really cool. What did you see? Uh, see the UFOs, the, gr- <laughs> the ground. <laughs> Annoyingly, as you come into land, they turn off the down ones. Really? What's that about? Well, what they what do they not want me to see? Well, uh, well, you know, Ian. Our yeah. coordinator for Journey mm. Across Japan. He came back to the UK in. in July, right? And he never rang! Unbelievable. Yeah, he hates you. And he... <laughs> That's strange. Yeah, he loves you. Well, what happened there? He oh. was very busy, clearly. Very busy. Uh, he, uh, he said he was watching the camera mm. coming into land, mm. and they kept it on. The and fold was... one they do. It's really yeah, interesting. Yeah. I was pretending was... to fly the plane. And there was a plane like on the runway just sort of sitting there. Mm. And, uh, you know, everyone's watching the feed. I think they mm. put it on all the screens. And everyone started looking at each other. Mm. And it was like, are we going to crash into the plane on the runway there? Yeah. And at the last minute, they hit full throttle and the plane took off again. Just yeah. so it was coming into land. So do you want to, get, do you want to get your plane out of the way, please? <laughs> clearly there Where was were a, they landing? Heathrow? Heathrow, or, yeah, Heathrow, yeah, Heathrow right. Airport. Clearly there was some sort of cock up yeah. going on there. Yeah. Uh, it didn't sound right. Always and prepare it, for a go around. Everyone was like gasping and worried. And, and Ian said, you know, at the end of it, he, he looked up online because he thought there'd be a news article about it. And he saw there's nothing. Mm. And it's kind of like, this must be these lots of plain things, things that go on. These... They don't ever report right. Well, these take these things take a long time to kind of get disseminated. And they, mm. they do eventually get published, I think. And then we've spoken about the mentor pilot before, um, mm. the fellow who goes through all of these um, dodgy happenings uh, on, online. But yeah, it, it's, yeah it's, it's, a re- it's a real worry. Um, yeah, so look look after yourselves. <laughs> so yeah. you can watch your plane crash yeah. on the live feed. Or, or stick on Cool Japan as you smash into a fiery mess. Yeah. Mm. Japan has the <laughs> finest vegetables <laughs> in the world. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> God, I do want to watch Cool Japan now and see mm. if it's as bad as I remember it to be. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've, been in, I've been in the UK for fucking endless amounts of time mm. now. Uh, three, four weeks. Doing yeah. book signings up and down the country. I got to uh, go off to Norway, watch Depeche Mode. Uh, got to go to Greece for a few days. Did you sign a, a book for Depeche Mode? I didn't sign a... No, that would have been great. Boys from I love that. I love that. <laughs> um, went to, to Greece for what was supposed to be a holiday. Spent most of it doing a voiceover. Why? For the last videos that came out. Ah. Stupid job. <laughs> Do my voiceovers for me. Yeah, I'll have a go. How would you sound like me? Ah, oh, I'm Chris Broad. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this fucking bit of sake I've found under this tree. <laughs> Let's have a sip to see what it tastes like. Ah, oh, it's disgusting, Riotro. You've done a big trick on me again. <laughs> you've been, you've vomited into a cup and now I've drunk it. You. <laughs> That's the sort of thing That's he would do. That's the sort of thing you would, would do. do. What's your next video about? Uh, last one, so we had three, four days ago, was about mm. a uh, what it's like to own a traditional Japanese inn yeah. and hot spring. It tanked. No well, there fucking it. was a paper in that. I think I released it at a very bad time when everyone goes back to school and work. Do you get September. excited? Do you get excited um, sometimes and release a, 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 a video at like a weird time? Because that's what, what I would do. No, I don't. I get would. Excited. I would be editing it at like four a.m. and release it, and I go, "Why well, oh. nobody watch my video?" I get livid. Ah. You, you, you sort of know if your video is stuffed in the first like minutes before it's released, and it was kind of like, "Oh no, oh. it's not good." I think uh, multiple, multiple reasons. Mm. I think it didn't help that I wasn't in the thumbnail because I saw a few comments like, "Oh, I didn't know it was a Braun Japan video." Hasn't Mister Braced uh, put like a, um, he started closing his mouth? 
Well, his weird little face. Yeah, Mr. Beast did a tweet, didn't he, where mm. he said videos where his mouth is closed, or his mouth's closed, get a higher click through or attention or something. I mean, because I'm not surprised seen, that because he's we've seen him being interviewed and he doesn't look like the face on his thumbnail, does he? Right. No. Like he looks like very different. Well, with the with the, even with the photos with his mouth closed, it's still open. He's still right. going like this, right? Right. Doing like a smile. Yeah. Whereas he's saying. Going like, oh, and doing the big silly <laughs> mouth. That doesn't work. And that doesn't right. work because you just look like a prick. Mm. Uh, and like, you know, when I do that, I'm like, oh, like, I don't want to click on that either. Right. So what, mouth what, what is slightly open? Slightly open, like, oh, oh like that. That's the key. Oh. That's the key. Right. I, I'll, like give you, just, I'll give you, you a, on a I'll, knife. I'll give you a situation, right? And you've got to do your YouTube face for the, for oh, the cover, for the cover picture. Oh, yeah. um, you are on a plane and someone. <laughs> Has, I, I, I'm trying to think of a, a video that would work on, on, on YouTube. Um, you're on a plane and a, a billionaire has just tipped coffee on your lap. Uh, <laughs> yes! Uh, something like that, isn't it? Yes. Horrible. Um, you are in a mine oh, and you find a dead man. Uh, <laughs> yes! Try that, innit? Perfect. Stupid job. But do, the, do a face. No. Do the dead man video. No, no, no. Do the dead no. man. Oh! oh. It's it's the worst bit of YouTube, yeah. and uh, I but think you have to do it. I Otherwise, think, it just get you you. Well, yeah, so. mad, I, isn't it? I think it's part of the reason the, uh, the the video didn't do so well. I don't know. It's hard to know, really. Maybe right. it's because two two videos in close succession with the Mount Fuji epic why, like one hour special. Why don't you put just put Mr. Beast in it? I'll just put, put Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast on the front in the video. Or, or, or just or put Mr. Beast with two mouths closed, oh, open. Oh, I, I could I could have worked with Mr. Beast. I actually had a meeting with his manager once mm. about a year. I think his name is yeah. Donaldson, isn't it? No, his name's his name. Reed. No, Reed. Mr. Beast's name is Donaldson. Oh yeah, yeah it's Jimmy mine. Donaldson, isn't it? I think we're probably related. You can get him in with me. Yeah, you can. You him, can get me in there. Get him in with you. <laughs> <laughs> I go, so hey, funny. Beastie. I, l- I love your chocolate. Never had it. Uh, <laughs> feastables. Swing it down with Prime, your feastables. Yeah. Oh, where's my merch? Why where's I your merch? Edible what merch. What do you have? Curry. I don't know, fucking... Box of curry like that woman from the upper. Asbestos chicken. I don't know. Like, what the hell can I say? Well, what do you... It would have to be, like, your brand of family, family chicky, wouldn't it? I'd make uh, Munchables. What? Munchables would be like... Uh, that, sounds, that sounds CBD, <laughs> man. Sounds like weed. <laughs> Sounds problematic, man. Oh my god! Today I was in a <laughs> I was in a shop in and I just saw the most ridiculous product. It's <laughs> it's like a yogurt drink no. and it's called the Collective Suckies. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah. do you want some Collective Suckies? Collective Suckies. <laughs> that sounds like it's a sake, like I, Suckies. Oh yes, yeah, so I'll have the co- suck. I'll have the Collective Suckies banana flavour. <laughs> I've got the Collective Suckies. Sounds like a <laughs> like mass depression. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the collective suckies. Or something much, it's a mass more, depression. much more dis- disturbing than that. But yeah. anyway, um, yeah, I really should bring out some food with Natsuki. I'll tell you what. Natsuki's Fish and Chips. Tokyo, Tokyo Hands, uh, the best department store in the whole of Japan. Mm. Um, I love it so much. Uh, and I had to sort of take Sarah to, to, to the all 10 floors escape. of it in, in Shibuya because I love it so much. Um, Pakari Sweat's a big thing, obviously, in Japan. Um, it's kind of like electrolytes and salts and sugar and, and water and just helps you mm. get back on an even keel if you're a little, does, bit, yeah. um, uh, a little bit um, dehydrated. Mm. They've started selling it at Tokyo Hands for dogs. Dog what? sweat. Dog something no. sweat. Pakari Sweat for dogs. How cool is that? I mean, did you drink some? No, it's for dogs. Oh, bring some, did you bring some back for your dog? That's a good point. I should have done. Aww. Should have done. Yeah. Well, we were we were on hand luggage only, so it would have to be a very small bottle, under hundred milliliters. Oh Is god. Yeah, happening? yeah, yeah. You're not allowed to bring that back, are you? Yeah. Oh, Never mind. No doggy Never mind. sweat for you. No. No doggy sweat. We got a story this week from Matthew, who says, "Dear Chris and Pete, I have a story about my first visit to Japan last March. After 18 long years of wanting to go, I studied Japanese the best I could with the time I had and purchased my tickets the moment it was announced that the country had opened back up." On arrival, I quickly discovered that my phone's data travel pass had not actually worked, and neither did the particular debit card in which I'd stuffed most of my money. And this is never a good start to a holiday. (laughs) I was, however, delighted to see a Tully's coffee and quickly procured my first iced coffee on the trip. Caffeine flowing through my veins, I stumbled through the airport feeling like a zombie. I managed to find my way to a Passmo card and train terminal, the old Suica car place. Uh, with the help of directions from another foreigner, I managed to get off at Orgy Station. 
I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Where the no. is. Where's Orgy? Yeah. Uh, probably getting lost. I sat in a secluded park and wondered if I might end up spending my first night in Japan sleeping in the park instead of the hostel and music lounge that I'd booked. When suddenly, out of the darkness, a man I could only describe as a Ugandan wizard appeared. <laughs> what the fuck? This just sounds like a drunken fever dream. Mm. Uh, he wore tattered grey clothes and several bright pieces of tribal-looking jewellery around his neck. Without prompting... <laughs> Without pre- <laughs> what is this? Without any prompting or inquiry, the man says in a thick African accent, "You are looking for the orgy music lounge, yes." His voice sounded passive, and I stared back at the stranger, my chest pounding nervously from both the sudden appearance and the way in which he seemed to just know where I was heading without any <laughs> anything to tip him off. I nervously said, "Yes, yes, I am actually," <laughs> and chuckled. The wizard says to me. Tis, um, I'm not going to do this voice. Yeah, please don't. Tis I don't up, know why you're even a god. This is he's, this is, is what that he's written. written. Right, okay. Tis up there past them stairs. He's written that. Clip that. I'm, I'm <laughs> not, I would like to disavow myself from that whole reading. I'm not doing that. That dramatic reading. Tis up there, up them stairs. Past them stairs. Okay, And points fine. to some yep. stairs at the other uh, the other end of the park I was in. Mm. I nervously thanked him as he walked off, quietly chuckling towards the station for where I had come from. <laughs> What, this is insane. What is this story, Matthew? Making my way up the stairs, I was greeted by the hostel staff inside, grateful to have met the kind stranger, but also feeling like I'd had some sort of apparition. I decided to eat in the music lounge, and as the staff brought my order of quattro fromage pizza, I was perplexed to find a small packet of maple syrup on the plate. After devouring the disturbingly tasty food, the staff stopped by, and with a look of concern, asked me in Japanese if there was something wrong with the food, seemingly worried since I hadn't touched the syrup. Racked with confusion, all I managed to say was, Sumimasen, meipuruwa, wakarimasen. <laughs> Excuse me, I, what? I don't understand maple. Right. While looking embarrassed, an old lady sat at another table, laughed, and told the waiter, they don't put maple on fromage, fromage pizza in America. <laughs> I never did see the wizard again after that, but I can only assume he's still out there, helping lost foreigners. I hope this story gave you a chuckle, and thank you for all the years of entertainment. Uh, it means a lot, Matthew. Mm. What is this? So it's a, it's a hostel, the Tokyo Guest House. So this o- is a real place. Oji Music Lounge, um, which is it's a strange name. Where where the fuck is Oji? <sighs> I, I, well, ooh, let's have a look. Um, it's near. Who's this Ugandan wizard? Asakiyama. Asakiyama. It's near the Oji Shrine. This is not. How, where's that? Uh, it is. Let G- me give me the laptop. It's sort of. It's I can't because the the oh. way it's been done, it's Sugamore. Do you know where that is? Right. Right. Uh, it's it's north of Shinjuku, a few clicks uh, okay. on the old Yamano tail. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Near, yeah, good. Um, <laughs> it's near Asuka Park, Askiyama Park. Uh, it's near... So we should have seen mm. that's the park. I should go there mm. and look out for this wizard. Well, <laughs> it, uh, maybe he's involved in the Tokyo Guest House Oiji um, uh, Music Lounge. There's a lot of like very low-scoring uh, reviews on, uh, on, on, on Google, <laughs> oh, it has dear. to be said. Oh, um, God. Mm. Apparently, it's, it's an ex-love hotel. It was renovated. That's why. It's quite common that. Mm. Love very hotel. cheap, very affordable. Oh, Twenty five quid a night. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, I know where we're heading next time you're the, in Japan. The smell of my bedroom, number two hundred and three, was overwhelmingly musty. <laughs> I very much enjoy. The, one of my favourite things is going to a nice hotel and review and checking out the reviews. Yeah. Uh, yeah the yeah. lowest reviews. Um, the one that was we stayed in um, uh, had one star on Google. It said, um, "We found some ladies' high heeled shoes in the cupboard." It was very spooky. What? <laughs> review it one. I love one the star. reviews because, uh, <laughs> you know, Japanese people are quite scathing and quite critical of things in right. their reviews. And then it auto-translates it really awkwardly mm. as well. But, yeah, uh, yeah it's, it's a little hobby of mine looking at reviews. Um, <laughs> but one thing I'm excited about, going back to Japan, to the Japan, is the new Family Mart <laughs> chicken. Right. Where... The, the apparel of Family Mart chicken. Have the you apparel. seen this? I've seen it, and right. I nearly got involved, um, but I couldn't really figure out how to get it. Oh, so it's not there in Family Mart in the store? I was, no, I, I thought it was in like a. It was on a. Um, uh, I think it was in a department store. In the same way that you can buy, and indeed, um, Premier Two P very much got mm. involved in um, in buying a lot of Greg's uh, <laughs> stuff from uh, from Primark. Uh, yeah, they, they um, Family Chicky pattern socks, eco bags, and wearable uh, Family Chicky goods uh, released to commemorate over two billion meals sold in Family Mart. They're going to be running a campaign nationwide from the twelfth. Oh, that's why because I mixed up Mister. 
that one, I suppose, um, to commemorate um, the cumulative sales of family chicky um, fried chicken. And basically, they've um, they're, they're starting to sell um, goods such as family chicky pattern socks, um, uh, uh, <laughs> smartphone cases, all kinds of stuff. Really, it's, they've sold over two billion servings. Uh, a, a hot, tasty, greasy snack can, can be enjoyed any time of the day or night. Uh, but yeah, they're like they're, they're selling like loads of different books and towels that look like pieces of chicken. And uh, yeah, I, I like it. Strong branding, jackets. I think so. They've sold two billion family chicky units. Yeah. I think at least forty percent of those were my sales, my <laughs> purchases. They should give you. I a put free, family free chicky stock. on the map. Yeah. Give me all the family chicky. Yeah, it's so good though. Oh, fucking, I'm just thinking about it now. Oh. You got a few. Oh. You got a few days to wait before you can get involved. What does it say on family chicky? It's got this weird English, isn't it? It says, uh, "So family chicky." It's got this like striking, stripy design. It mm. says, "Family chicky, taste of soft, juicy chicken, <laughs> the boneless <laughs> flavor. No, the boneless type. It's good. Taste of soft, oh, so good. The boneless type. Did you eat any mm. while you were there? Lords, constantly. Did you actually? Constantly. I even had like." Um, it was like a, it wasn't family chicken, but it was like fried chicken ecky bento box <laughs> for the train. <laughs> really greasy. It is um, so greasy. But it's, uh, it's just so nice, man. I don't know how they managed to, they must like get them off the trucks like three times <laughs> a day because it always seems fresh and delicious. There is a lot. Yeah. I, there's a factory. So I want to go to the factory actually and see what they make. <laughs> I want to go to factory. <laughs> I want to go to factory. I swim around in a vat of the butter. This is the family chicken vat. I'm allowed to jump into it, dive into it, and swish around. The guy from Uganda's going, you want to get in the vat? You can get in the vat. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'm going to be first in line to get this family chicken merch. But mm. we'll be back in just a moment, guys. We have stories, comments, and questions in the fax machine. Wow. And we're back with the fax machine. What have we got this week from our listeners, Mr. Dawson? Oh, God knows. Close down my document. Hey, I've got it. Oh. Hello, Cacophonous Chris and uh, philanthropic uh, Pete. What are your thoughts of the Genki One textbook for learning Japanese? Is it a good way to study and learn? And what textbooks did you use? And which are your favourite? Max, um, which textbooks did you uh, learn? Because I don't know. Fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> I did use Genki. It's a really good book. Yeah. 10 out of 10 would buy it again. Is that the one that's like... Because most uh, books um, you can have in... Um, Katakana, sorry, not Katakana, yeah, Katakana and um, Hiragana, mm, mm. but you can also get it in Romaji as well. Uh, yes. And I think for a small holiday, I would always go for the Romaji because it's just, yeah. it's just harder, it's just pass everything. You well, don't know look, where one word ends and the other one starts. Well, look at this. I've been, st- if, you're, if, you're, oh. if you're listening on the podcast, oh. I'll describe what we are now seeing. He's got an erotic drawing on this his is, iPad. <laughs> it's Pete, yeah. with dr- drizzled my, in family my chicky cool fat. Pants. Uh, I've got this new app that I've been playing around with. I'm mm. not going to say who it is. Oh, right. I don't, say what it is. What's the matter? Why? What's it called? It's called. It's just called kanji exclamation mark. <laughs> Look, I thought when How are we going to find that? And uh, I've been I've been learning kanji. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. So it'll, it'll road say road or route. Road route. Right. That's Michi. And then you draw it, which I can't really do from this angle. I'll draw it. No. Dun 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 dun. Ah, oh, fuck. Right. Let me so, go. Let me but the, you, you write out and you do it. It's great. And I've been practicing the kanji. Ah, oh, fuck. The right. God. Not Pete. Road Dawson. route. Trace that. No. Ah, oh, all for, right. For, Give it back. This is, all right? This is te- Steve Jobs would not be happy about this. <laughs> this is not what he's the long iPad, gone. This is not what deal the with it. For. But you, you, you know, you draw the old kanji. Well, you got to get the stroke order right. That's what, what I was trying to do. One. <laughs> Shut up. There you go, Mitchy. That's good. Boom, boom. boom. You got Mitchy. That's like the easiest kanji in the world. It's it? one of right, the first okay. ones you learn. But nice. I've been revising my Japanese because it's just an embar- just a great source of embarrassment and shame. Mm. How the fuck do you? operate this device I was very impressed Too with old. Um, Chris Brooks the wrestler he, mm. he's only he's been here for three years and he you know to my um, uh, you know rough old ear um, hell, hell of a hell of a Japanese speaker really? but I guess I guess yeah I guess in the COVID he's spent a lot of time not going out but um, yeah wonderful well done that man it's, it's just fun. it's really fun learning Japanese mm. and I, even though I haven't done it properly in years now it's been really fun getting back into it and just glued I, to this screen, I drawing out the kanji characters. I think being not hungover and spending <laughs> a couple of weeks in, in Japan, I got more out of it in that sense. I could start to pick up more. I started to pick up more stuff at the end of the holiday than I did at the start, which was nice mm. to see. And I sort of think, oh, well, I wouldn't back myself at being able to learn that language, but I think... I could possibly, if I lived there, get by, which is, you know, I'm barely getting by in English here, to be you honest. Get, I mean, you, you can get by without any oh, Japanese. Right. Pete, you know, American Pete barely knows Japanese. 
doesn't he? And he's he, on he NHK. Get, he, and he's the face of Japanese television. Yeah. So tells you really to know. Mm. Um, <laughs> hello, Chris and Pete. Uh, Orion from Sweden here. I'm on my way to visit Japan in November, and I've been spending a lot of time so far planning where to go and what to see after consuming numerous guides, articles, and videos about all the exciting things on offer. I find that I'm more intrigued by that which might be considered mundane. Oh. I want to also see the average places where average people live their average lives. Oh. Uh, as there does not seem to be any guides or videos on this topic, might you be able to recommend me a few of the least exciting areas to visit in and around <laughs> Tokyo? Orion from Sweden. It's the least exciting places. Uh, mm. What's the least exciting place in Tokyo? I don't know. Just get in a car. I said, even if you think you can't drive in Tokyo, just drive in Tokyo because it's very drivable I and parkable. I, I, I know, but you can. You can. Even like Osaka, I was just driving around, parking it where I wanted. I mean, it cost a lot of money, <laughs> but parking it with the little flappy things. Got and lock your car in and the little garages. Uh, there's, the, gar- there's, 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 there's parking everywhere. Dodgy car park. In, and, and, and it's absolutely crazy. So, yeah, just get in a car and just drive mm. wherever you want to go. Go Chiba or something. Do, we, like do you think we'll see you in Japan again anytime soon? I hope so. <laughs> Such I a hope lack so. Of hope. That'll well, be, well, that will be that will be well. I'll, I'll need to recover financially from the <laughs> horror show that was uh, the, the amount of money I spent. But uh, yeah, I'm, oh. I'm very much uh, hoping to get get back out. Well, I'm uh, glad you had fun, and yeah. you've hyped me for my trip to Japan. Yeah, I forgot what it's like. <laughs> I've been away for a month now, so yeah. looking forward to getting back there mm. and getting out of this sauna that is Pete's studio. Well, but, enjoy Japan, <laughs> Oh, fuck it. It's not like better. <laughs> going to be it's sweaty like, in this. Yeah, like get training. Yeah, it's like altitude training. training. Yeah. Oh, don't we? Yeah. That's one good thing Britain gets right, the weather in mm. summer. It's just not a joke, it's a joke not temperature. Not. But, as always, guys, keep the stories, questions, comments coming into Born Japan podcast at gmail.com. Next time you see me, I'll be back in the studio. Yeah. And we'll be through a screen. And it'll be much better. Screen. Away from this. He can't smell this. The savage. The yeah. savage and individual. <laughs> but uh, it's been great being here with Pete yeah. and uh, look forward to seeing him again soon. Good. In the face. Love. Whoa, steady. In the, in the person. <laughs> but for now, guys, see you the next few days. Have a great week and uh, we'll see you right back here. Do it all over again on the Abroad Japan podcast. Bye for now. 